There's no greater gift that you can give someone than life. Marcus went to his god's parents' house for the weekend, and that Sunday, his godmother called me. They were on their way to church, and she called me and told me he wasn't feeling good, so she was going to bring him home. His godmother called me and told me that they were taking him to the ER. And I'm like, oh, wow, I, we thought he just had a stomach virus. That night, I was told that my son was getting put in ICU and I was freaking out, and I had no idea what was wrong with him. So they told me that his hemoglobin was two, and um, my sister, she said, what? I didn't know what a hemoglobin was. She said, oh no, that's bad. A normal hemoglobin is 10 or more. So of course I panicked. The next morning I had a conversation with the doctor. She informed me that they wanted to test him to see if he had leukemia. My heart dropped. He actually had a very rare condition called severe aplastic anemia, where his body stopped producing red blood cells altogether. I prayed for God to take me instead of him, because he's only seven years old. He ultimately had to have a bone marrow transplant. Once I was informed, they found a donor to match with my son. I was ecstatic. I was, I was so thankful. For him to have been through so much, he's never complained, not one time. I'm looking forward to things just getting back to normal. If it was not for gift of life and the donor, I, I'm getting a <laughs> They saved my son's life. They saved my son's life. And I thank them so much. I thank them so much. And I can't wait to meet this donor. You are our angel. There's no greater gift in life. None. None.